you have just entered the KD Ma podcast, keyboard plus mouse or die. Hey guys, what's going on? And welcome to episode 60, the big 60. We are almost dead, right? I mean, 60 is pretty much in here. We're in the AARP now. We yeah. We get discounts and close stuff, spots. Right? We get and shit. Into discount. our retirement funds. Yeah. Wow. 60 episodes. I can't, I can't believe it. I think we're going to take a little bit of time to, uh, to talk about how we are at 60. Dan, how do you feel at, at 60 episodes? What, do, what, is, um, what is your overall feeling? Oh, so good. I actually, yeah, so good that all my hair fell out. <laughs> yeah, what? Uh, wow. Going the, is that the military cut right there? Like, oh, and yeah, the man. beard? Just, you just yep. got rid of it all. Yeah, I, <laughs> Dan wishes he could be 60 again. Possibly. <laughs> um, yeah. Oh, God. But no, today I actually tweeted the the now cliche line from Scott of "I can't believe it's whatever." So it is. I literally cannot yeah, this, believe this is that impressive. we're at episode sixty. Sixty. Like it's it's just over. We were at episode six or seven at this time last year. So yeah, yeah. It's been. Uh, let me do all the cliches. It's been a wild ride. Oh yeah, <laughs> but it's it's been great. You all have been great. We could not do this without you. What else? Come on. I need more cliches. Come on. Keep it going. Um, uh, come on, Nick. Help help me out. Um, like to. Th- I'd like to thank. I'd like, like to thank, thank the fans. Thank obviously. Fans. <laughs> I, you got, I like to thank God first. Oh first yeah, absolutely. Us. Yeah. I'd like to thank Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior. Thank you. Brace. Look under your seats. Like, for a, look under your seats for a brand new Honda Accord. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, not a Honda Accord. Probably a, that would be extreme. That would be a very. I like, mean, a Hot Wheel maybe. But yeah, we don't know. Maybe like that. keys. I don't know. Well, we can't. Yeah, I don't know if we could even afford three hundred ninety-one keys. I don't yeah, think we no, can we, afford. <laughs> I don't think we can afford one one key. Just the key, not even the car. Yeah, yeah. No, that's what I meant. I can't afford the key copying on 390 oh, keys. It is yeah. expensive. Key copying is like, isn't it like 100 to 200 bucks to get a key copied? I guess no, it's, dude, where you go. it's cheap as fuck, really? dude. I think no, it well, depends on the vehicle key. make. Yeah, the vehicle. No, no, you're talking about a car oh, key. Oh, you're talking it's about like, house keys? Car keys a lot. House keys is like oh, a dollar. Yeah. That's dirt cheap. You can do that at hardware stores. <laughs> I used to get yeah. keys copied all the time. Why are we talking about this? <laughs> wow. Good, good <laughs> this really riveting. When I'm trying to remember, <laughs> when did Nick Fenton join join up? Uh, uh, right after Garretson, I think was on like episode twelve. Episode was it twelve? When we wow, to go so downhill. So, no, we had him. We had him and Mike Pollack as guests, right? It was for an episode? after episode twelve. Yeah, yeah. I tried to and put that we episode like, out of my mind. That Knack Fenton is funny. I like him. No, <laughs> Knack Fenton. I remember in the beginning, I was a guest. God, like one of the first episodes. I Where? remember that one. I was still a listener. Long time mm-hmm. listener, big time fan. <laughs> then he got on the show when he never listens post. anymore and barely participates. But that's what happens. Um, <laughs> yeah, but what, what has been some of our favorite episodes? I'm just trying to think back. 60. Uh, um, God, what has been my favorite? I always go back to the one with Garrettson just because it was the first time we had a guest on. Like, it's a good I one. Could, I guess so that was good. The, of course, the first video podcast Flying by the seat of our pants at Christmas fun. time there. Yeah. yeah, that was a good one. That was a good one. That was <laughs> There's just been so many memories, it's hard to narrow down to one. But once again, cliches, here's to 60 more. <laughs> you can't see me, but I'm giving a thumbs up in the camera. And uh, yeah, but let's not, let's not congratulate ourselves too much. Um, but it is pretty fucking sweet. And it's, <laughs> it also is... Uh, it also is the tenth live show for those yes, of you that you did. coming out live every week. You guys begged us to go live, yeah. for a long time. We persisted for a long time, dude, because people were calling for that from the beginning to be live. Yeah. So, but then we were like, "I don't want to be no PKA." Okay, but, don't name drop, please. Oh, I'm sorry, dude. I'm <laughs> yeah, sorry, dude. Don't. Does that upset you, dude? Scott was on PKA, so we had. I was PKA. literally never on PKA. You're thinking of <laughs> Mark Raven? Oh, am I Mark thinking Campbell. of? Uh, I'm getting confused with your dual comms. Oh, that's, that's funny. Shit. I've had a lot of dual comms. Yeah, Sorry. that's easy to get confused with. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so, uh, what, have, what have we been playing this week? Yeah, what have we been playing? Um, I'll start again. I played some uh, yeah, Path of Exile. I'll start. Wow. <laughs> wow. So Nick Fenton's hostility. out tonight. Jeez. Uh, I had a yeah. Played some Path of Exile after their new patch. They added a bunch of voice acting, and uh, so that was pretty cool. Uh, played some CSGO mods with you gentlemen. 
Yes, we did. And uh, some of those are pretty fucking nuts. <laughs> Thanks for the invite. Like, Appreciate it. That's yeah, great, dude. Brandon. Well, next time you don't have a job that requires you to be away for 90% of the time. Oh, well, you have a gaming laptop now and a decent connection. I take all that back. Yeah, yeah. Well, no, it's, I mean, it's okay. You know, we're just assholes is really yeah, what that comes down to in the end. Um, this is awkward now. <laughs> but I uh, also played some, some Final Fantasy VII on stream and then... Uh, Dude, I we'll watched that highlight, back. dude. Of the, uh, oh my <laughs> god, I was dying. Yeah. I was dying. So for those who have never played Final Fantasy VII, that game was rated teen, 13 plus when it came out. That has there are some definite been. situations in that game that would have gotten it like the M rating or whatever okay. now, for sure. Uh, but yeah, basically I dressed up like a woman, went into a brothel, almost got gangbanged, and then watched a fat man pelvic thrust. <laughs> that was pretty much... <laughs> It was epic. <laughs> when you just let it, when you left it on that dialogue where he's pelvic thrusting, and you just there's just no talking for like a minute, and just staring into the. Well, his line is amazing too. <laughs> it's so it's good. just like, "Come to Papa, I can't contain it anymore." Oh my god! <laughs> well, you that's the way you interpret it. There's no voice acting, so I mean, can't be a pervert about it. No, I'm wow. pretty sure it's pretty clear what was going on from yeah from if you know if you at least. Have half a brain, but I can't accuse you of that, Nicholas. Nicholas, oh, damn. What have uh, What have you been playing? <laughs> <laughs> Nick well, is pouting right, pouting now, right now. That's listening. I'm just kidding, Nicholas. Do we need to come back to you? You want to let's come back to him. Out? You know what? He loses his privilege. I, you know what? I don't care. Nope. I don't <laughs> give a fuck, Nick. If you're not going to talk, you don't have to talk at all. All right, uh, Brandon. What have you been playing? He just got up. So I uh, so I picked up Guild Wars two on Friday against my better judgment, but uh, mm. I call out. I, I was trying to get some recommendations on Twitter, and uh, and I looked on Metacritic. Seemed like most you know most of the reviews were pretty positive, and uh, sometimes you just have those impulse type buys because I was kind of kind of uh, I don't know for some reason I was jonesing to play an MMO, and uh, I figured since it doesn't have a subscription, you know I can. I can right. kind of meter my time with it because that was the thing with WoW. It's like when you're playing, you want to really yeah. get your money's worth every month. And so you either want to be playing it a lot or cancel your subscription. So yeah. I felt good about it because I was like, I think over the long term, I'll probably get $60 worth of value out of it. Um, so I played a lot of that this weekend, got to like level 20. Um, pretty good so far. I like it. Um, I've heard only good things, except from Nick Fenton. Yeah, and, that's uh, true. John. Nick Venn, all excited about Gears of War. I keep saying it. Guild <laughs> War. I keep saying Gears of War. Guild Wars 2, game comes out, doesn't even touch it. Yeah, we doesn't haven't even really it. talked about it on the podcast. No, Nick, can we can we get an explanation of yourself? And also, while we're doing that, I'm going to go pull up a quick meme I made over a year ago that uh, <laughs> d- describes this exact situation. Anyway, go ahead, Nick. Please explain. I, I don't want an MMO right now. I wanted one like six months ago. I just don't feel like playing an MMO right now. I don't know. By the way, guys, that uh, Terra spree you went on, Terra is now seven dollars, and they're thinking about <laughs> dropping the subscription. It's seven dollars, and, and I made and they when that game come out, buy it for sixty with me, <laughs> and then I played it for three days. I actually think it was pretty good. It was, it's on it my channel. Evidence of me saying Fun. it's really it good. it's pretty good. Because I loved playing the uh, beta, or the open weekend, or whatever, but. Also, Nick, uh, is, it, is it that you didn't like Guild Wars 2 or you just didn't want to get it into an MMO? I just don't feel like playing an MMO right now. I'm sure it's good. I've only, I'm like level 7, so I can't really have any kind of, you are, ser- of serious you opinion. Also leveled, on you leveled the same complaint that John did, though, that it's not Guild Wars it's 1. It's not the same as Guild Wars 1. See, I never played Guild Wars 1, so I'm really my only point of comparison is World of Warcraft. Guild and Wars 1 was like Diablo, but MMO. From what well, I'm hearing, I don't know. Maybe you can test this, brand. People are saying that it does a lot of stuff a lot better than WoW. I think like quest-wise I think and all stuff, that stuff. Yeah, like this. Well, now it does. Yeah, yeah a lot of the stuff that's different is like is different in a in a good way. Like the combat feels a lot different. A lot of things you're kind of like you're aiming and stuff. It feels the combat feels a lot more fluid than WoW. Um, mm-hmm. And the other thing that I really like is the the auction house setup. It's called the trading post, and you can you can sell or buy from anywhere in the world. It's just that if you buy something, you have to go to like a trader to pick it up. But it's nice because you can see if you pick up some loot, you can see like the lowest uh, like the lowest price that that's selling for, 
and you can be like, oh, you can look real quick and be like, should I vendor this or should I actually sell it um, mm. you know, to, to another player? So it's little things like that that I think um, I was pretty impressed with because it's like you don't realize that there's a better way to do it when WoW is kind of the only thing out there. Um, mm. But I mean, it's, it's, it's a really different experience than WoW. Um, so I think, like I said, I think over, you know, over the next year or whatever, um, I'll easily get 60 bucks worth out of it. Yeah, the no subscription thing is is big. yeah, that's that's key. That's I mean, pretty that's... much why I'm not like upset that I bought it. And I think the other thing too, it looks like I haven't really looked into this much, but they have, I guess, like a like a gems system to where you can convert gems to gold and gold to gems, and you can buy gems with real money. So it's like you can, it's kind of like you can buy gold in in a sense, but it's like I don't I don't know that I really have a problem with that um, if. You know, if people want to pay a bunch of money for for gems and turn them into gold, I mean, people are gonna. The thing is, people are gonna do that anyway. So I think having an option where the company can can make money off of that, you know, in, in this at this point, like if you've ever played, uh, if you ever played WoW, you know how prolific gold farming is. Like, kind of taking that out of the equation, I think makes mm-hmm. the game better. Nice. Yeah, I uh, I think my thing is I just can't get into MMOs. I was this is this is what my let me boil down what happens when I play an MMO. I get excited about it at the beginning, and then as I'm questing and like grinding and doing stuff, all I'm thinking in my mind when I'm playing the MMO is this is fucking stupid. And I'm thinking that not because the game's stupid, but because like I'm fetch questing. I just am like. This is not fun to me. Like the grind is not fun to me. And you kind of have to enjoy the grind in MMOs. I would just like to skip right to end game and like be raiding with people. That stuff I enjoy or dungeons. Well, you can do that. Can't you do a like kind of skip in Guild Wars? Can't yeah. you join in on the PvP? You know, can you? Like, level ten. Well, or I something? probably like that aspect of it. I, I just yeah, I haven't tried it yet. But it's part of the MMO is the immersion of it, isn't it? Like you're supposed to. I don't know. I don't know other people. Well, that's like, why I think that's I why I'm can't. enjoying it right now. Because the mm-hmm. thing about something like WoW is that the first time you play it. At least, at least the way I look at it, the first time you play it and like all the zones and, and the talents and everything are brand new to you and you don't really know the game that well, that's when it's the most fun. But like right. when you've played WoW for four or five years and you know every single class, you know everything or eight. you do, <laughs> like you know, you, you know all of the places you can go, um, that's when it, it just dulls out. And so the fun for me right now is like I'm only level 20 you know, I don't really know about builds for my character or like if I'm if I'm gearing right or specking right. Mm-hmm. I'm just kind of having fun and exploring, you know, and doing quests and stuff. Um, and that's the fun to me is I'm kind of having fun leveling and that'll probably be worth, you know, the, the price of admission by itself. Yeah. Yeah, that's I, definitely that's true. I don't know. I just um, we'll see. Like the closest I've ever gotten into MMO, I played WoW to like level four. 45. You played WoW for a good chunk of hours, for a, too, though. For a good like, time. Yeah, WoW was fun. I did like it. I just never... You know what? At that point, though, you guys were, like, done with WoW. Like, I didn't really have anyone. There was a few people I was playing with, but maybe if the whole group of everyone was playing... That's the thing. I if well, like, you have a group of people that are playing, yeah. it, it will it's suck you in. It right. will absolutely yeah. suck you in. Right. That's the thing. If you guys were playing Guild Wars as well, it would probably be probably a bad thing for all of us, because we wouldn't get anything. We'd all, yeah, we'd all play yeah. it. <laughs> And this something. podcast, we just start, <laughs> we'd stop doing the podcast. Like, to play if, we, Wars. if we all got Guild Wars two this week, episode sixty one would be the last podcast. We would <laughs> never take time out. Of and you never see us again. We just disappear. The website was last stop updated posting videos five years yeah. ago. Five years. Yeah. Ago. <laughs> it was like, what happened there? They all bought Guild Wars two. Extra live stream. <laughs> we end up doing extra live stream. It's just twenty four hours. Twenty four hours of Guild Wars, <laughs> in Guild Wars. <laughs> and the money goes to, to buying more shit in Guild Wars. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh God. We wanted it for the kids, but dude, <laughs> dude. gotta get these items. Yeah, <laughs> so, um, so, so I did play so, a lot of that. I also played a little bit of Smite, and uh, and then the Just Cause Two multiplayer had another beta test. They got, I missed it again. They got DDoS on Saturday, which I was thinking, like, who? What? What? Wh- why would you ever DDoS? Like these guys running a beta test on on the Just Cause Two multiplayer server. Like, and it's what, like, what is what? Well, it's the same the thing. It's like. There. I don't get. I get if you're DDoSing like, I don't know, like if you're DDoSing like New York Stock Exchange because you're all like want to make a point, you know, Anon's making a point or something, you know, like. But if you're DDoSing Twitch streamers, you know, YouTube live stream. If you're if you're DDoSing streamers or DDoSing, uh, fucking Just Cause Two multiplayer. Come on, dude. <laughs> I just don't see what you get out of that. 
Yeah. Cool, dude. That's We're going to get DDoS now. Thanks. Yeah, great. Thanks for bringing that up, Nick. <laughs> or Dan and Nick. Anyway, so, um, but they had, they brought the servers back up on, uh, like, on Saturday night or Sunday. And so I played it, I played it for a little bit, and they've made a lot of improvements. Like, the the hit detection is a lot better now. They fixed, they fixed a lot of that. And I think the servers still hosted, like, out of Australia or something. So once, you know, once people actually have real servers, I think it'll be really good. Because if, you, if you've played it before, like, one of the previous weekends, you probably saw quickly that like you couldn't kill anyone with any guns because the bullets just didn't yeah. didn't register but now all, most of that is gone and so you can kill people with just about any weapon um they upped the respawn times on all the planes and stuff so i, I had a really good time it's it seems like that mod is making a lot of progress i think because they're because they're getting so much attention now which is awesome nice yeah it, I, i've missed it every time and every time you guys talk about it i'm like fuck but so it's maturing a bit. It's doing better now. Yeah, yeah. It's it definitely. I think they're. I feel like they they're fairly close to actually releasing the you know releasing the builds where people can host their own servers. So mm-hmm. I think I'm really looking forward to once there are some North American servers and people are actually pinging decently. I, I'm sure that that'll clear up you know most of the issues that you that you even see now. Right. But they see, I think they're doing these these beta tests more often. Seems like almost every weekend for like you know two weeks now. So yeah, you'll be able to get in they on went, one soon. They went for like a good month at one point, but yeah, they've been doing it a lot recently. But I want to get to the big news here. Whoa, not whoa, yet the whoa, news. whoa! I'm sorry. What did I get to say? What I was playing this week? At all? Oh, okay. Go Come ahead, on, Dan. Scott. God, Dan. Go ahead. I've been waiting all this time to jump on the League of Legends dick bandwagon. Which I'm about to do. No, I played. So we played this. Yes, oh, yeah, no. I've been playing some Smite and some Counter Strike. Gonna talk over Scott because no one cares about League of Legends. Thanks. That's that's great, that's, dude. Oh, oh that's wow. Shit. I don't know about that's, that. That's I don't know if no one cares. Okay, Nick. You know what? Nick, shut up. All right. Can you let me talk right, for a let, second? Let's dude? see if you're still Please? playing League of Legends next week. That's all I want to say. Okay. If I'm playing League of Legends next week, what's the bet? Are you gonna suck my dick on camera? Of <laughs> what's What's the bet, Nick? What's the bet? If I'm, I'm playing League of Legends next week and just as much into it as I am this week, what do I get? I don't know. Yeah, empty well, start account. thinking about it. Because if that happens, you'll probably be buying skins and everything. I've already bought three skins and two characters. I've spent like 50 that's, bucks. It's really bad. You it's should bad. probably stop playing. Yeah, well, you know what? Well, look what happened to Fuzzy Otter Balls, dude. <laughs> Fuzzy Otter Balls is like $700 into League of Legends. <laughs> yeah, well, hopefully we'll never He has that. a lot of money, but it doesn't matter. That guy spent so much on that League, dude. Anyway. But okay, so no, I was a League of Legends hater. Not a hater, okay. I was a League of Legends person that was just like, I didn't really understand the game. I knew basic MOBA stuff, but I was like, why do people watch this? I don't understand. It doesn't seem that fun. And then I jumped on with you know with a bunch of friends and i played through like god damn okay dude that's great put up the scott stapp photo that's great <laughs> is that the scott stapp album the solo album he released no that's an instagram picture of uh, scott stapp oh uh, because i have scott Stapp's solo album <laughs> oh my god wow do you listen that's do you listen to it while i play league dude that's no, it we're done dude i don't podcast is over Audio anyway i just want to make my real case quick case for league so you've tried league brandon you didn't really like it how much time did you spend with it? i'm no, surprised no, no, no. I, no i like league i just the thing for me is that i i don't really like the the long games I oh feel yeah, like some of those games can long. drag out so yeah. i think we were talking about it um i like dominion a lot where you kind of take the creeps out of it a little bit and you have it's faster games like, i like yeah. i like league i just don't really care for for games like that that take a long time to play one match. Yeah, no, it definitely is a grind. I mean, right now, we don't. I don't care about stats or anything. So if we're getting absolutely hammered, we'll just fucking forfeit. You know, right, because you can do that and just forfeit real fast. But it's fun. Like, I've been tanking on it. I'm, like, learning builds. I don't know. It's fun. It's fun right now. Like, when you have a good group of people together, and we had some, like, sick come-from-behind wins. We were playing with, like, a 30, so we are getting against rank 20s, and we were winning. It was sick. I'm extremely on the bandwagon now. I've been watching today. I watched League of Legends highlights from events. It's really poor. It's really bad. Anyway, uh, look for League of Legends on Machine of Versus. Look, yeah, look for League of Legends on Machine of Versus, December twelfth. I don't know. That's just making. Uh, anyway, Hawk and Release Day. What a- uh, how about Dota Two and Han? But I'm never going to probably touch Han. Han, Han is honestly. the worst. Is okay. Han the worst community? What What is the worst community? Han. Are the biggest assholes. Yeah. If you play hot out there, you're I, probably a dick. I'm sorry, dude. <laughs> Pretty like, sure that's just every MOBA. Well, no, yeah. it's not every MOBA, dude. No, they every, are another MOBA level has bad people. 
No, a Han is all bad people. No. Every single, because all the good people, people got discouraged and pieced out of Han. Oh, yeah. That's... The thing is definitely bad. People definitely cry a lot, but that's why we try to play with just, fr- well, I've been playing with friends. I do not solo queue ever anymore. Well, I played Smite this week, and some guy, you could tell they were really bad, because some guy referred to a lane as a road. And he was talking to oh, the person, yeah. should, I go a diff- should I go on a different road, dude? I'm like, uh, yeah, I'm going to leave this game. So yeah. you, I like Smite too. I think Smite's fun. I I, fun. I just like Smite because it's more PV like PvP. Like, yeah, the I, I kind of like Smite because I feel like the games the games are a little faster. I they mean, do I go faster. They are. They, but, like, but they do easy. seem to go faster. Yeah, it's like 10, 10, 5 or ten minutes shorter than like a like a regular mobile game, like a league game. We had we had a really uh, a really awesome experience this weekend with some guy who uh, he's like level three or four. You know, we're getting into the game and all of a sudden he disconnects. You know, but and so we keep trying to play it out, and and we're doing our best. We're not, you know, probably going to lose still, but we're we're giving it an effort. And this dude comes back. He comes back like like twenty five minutes later. Jesus. We're all we're all you know almost level twenty, and he's like level three or four. <laughs> yeah. And we're like, thanks, man. You know, really appreciate you leaving and then yeah. coming back. And he's like, first he's apologetic, and then he gets this <laughs> attitude, like like you know. You guys, like, I've won a 2v5 game, you know, get on my level. I'm like, what are you talking about? You just, you left right at the beginning of the game. You screwed us over, and then you come back. Uh, <laughs> if, you do, if you do that, yeah, you're it's type of person. It is funny. I mean, definitely there seems like there's a lot of assholes in all MOBAs. You're, you're, there's no question. But anyway, I'm, I'm enjoying getting into it. We'll see if Nick Fenton's bad of me being over it in f- a week is true. I guarantee <laughs> it won't be, but anyway. Yeah, whatever. I got 10p on this one, dude. Good, dude. That's great. 10p, dude. That's Best bet. Great. <laughs> All right, so let's... Back nights for president. So, anyway, I want to talk about this, because I think I'm the only one of us who played it, probably, but yes. regardless, Black Mesa, guys. Uh, How good? I know a lot of people out there, it is so good. Like, it is mind-blowing how good of a job they did. On one hand, in your head, you're like, this shouldn't have taken eight years. That's that's the other thing, but uh, man, it is it is so good. If you guys haven't gone downloaded it, obviously it's free from the site. Uh, the instant you get on the train, you know, right? The yeah, the open sequence. Obviously, yeah. it's just boom, you're in. But uh, all the all the textures, and I do mean all the textures. <laughs> they updated RH, all the things. RHD, yeah, that's awesome. everything is updated. Um, the only thing is the game doesn't include the last level yet, mm. uh, which is fine. It's going to be out later, but uh, Valve, just hire those guys. Yeah. <laughs> They're really good. The music's all original, too. Mm. They did their own music. Amazing. Get the soundtrack, if nothing else. Uh, the torrent is super fast. It had 20,000 peers when I downloaded it. Wow. The torrent. So it was going to eight or nine megs a second it was it was amazing so definitely check it out it is it is totally worth your time and the three gigs or whatever it is uh so we do have a lot of a lot of news but i wanted to highlight as well and i know you were excited for this scott and probably all you guys borderlands 2 out at uh midnight pacific i believe tonight Nine Pacific, midnight Eastern. Nine Pacific, midnight Eastern. Yep. So right after this cast, yes, people sir. are at Borderlands too. Yes, and let me tell you, they had screenshots of the PC options for it, completely full, chock full yep. of PC options. And yep. every single That's thing awesome, is dude. in there. Remember that love letter they sent to PC gamers? I guess they actually they weren't managed. lying. Yeah, they were That's not awesome. lying. Yeah, so, I saw sweet. Ben Kuchera tweeting that it has offline LAN play, which is really cool. Yep. I didn't wow. know it was going to have that. That's sick. It's it's got like. Uh, depth of field turn on or off mm-hmm. uh, field of view up to like I think 90 I don't know if it goes higher than 90 the only, but still I think the only thing the PC version is missing is split screen compared to like the actual yeah. console versions but that's not a big deal but it has oh I love split every screen dude I want to play on split screen Nick that's you can do screen. HUD you can do HUD scale I play and Borderlands like 1 in split screen and it's fun so hate me <laughs> I am, but, uh, I'm hating you right now so mission accomplished but definitely, definitely check out Borderlands 2. I don't like to buy games at 60 bucks, so I don't have it. But also this week, so if you're a gamer, this is a good week. As I said, Torchlight 2 out Thursday. Um, God, it looks good. <laughs> it looks so good. It looks even better than I thought it was going to. It's only 20 bucks, guys, on Steam. 
so you can preload it now. Um, this is the so game Diablo good... wanted to be, or what? Oh, oh, <laughs> oh, God, it's good. Yeah. Uh, John's already been playing it. Twitch people mm. had early access. Uh, it it looks so good. Um, but, yeah, regardless, guys, good week for gaming, and I want to pimp out our stream tomorrow night. It's not going to be my normal show. Tomorrow night we have Hex hosting because I don't have I don't have Borderlands too. Tomorrow night for so, live viewers, it will be the night before if you're listening on Wednesday. Right. So yes. tune in Tuesday. Past. So tune in Tuesday. <laughs> Tuesday the you 18th. Can watch so go back in time real quick. Tuesday the 18th, Borderlands two with Hex and some special guests. Those special guests are Jared Garrison and. Rick Leslie wow. from the zombie team are going to be coming out Rick to play. Leslie. This is Jared's favorite series of all time. Well, Rick Borderlands Leslie designed and designed uh, some of the levels for Borderlands 2, right? Wow. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and they were all bad. <laughs> Just kidding. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, this is Jared's favorite thing, so he, he'll be super pumped. He, uh, he actually yelled at Hex to get him on, so <laughs> he'll be on there. Nice. Uh, so they'll be playing co-op tomorrow so that'll be fucking sweet and then instead of Chez's stream <laughs> we went over this the pre-show thursday we're having a torchlight 2 special oh chez getting bumped for the torchlight 2 chez how does that make you feel? i will be which i will be <laughs> hosting with five or six other kb <laughs> people i think it's six player co-op so um chat in the chat fucking ridiculous <laughs> We now interrupt your scheduled programming to bring you an urgent broadcast from the front lines of America. All right. Okay, and on to the news. We're going to start with three pieces of hardware news, and that was two that I put up for some reason. <laughs> but first of all, uh, the G4 660 came out, not 660 Ti, 660, and it's about what? It's 220, something like that, I think, price-wise. But Yeah. Yeah, um, it's 229. It is a beast at that price range, and Hex just bought two of them and put them in SLI, so he's got those in his PC right now. Yeah, um, SLI they do better than the 680, and they're cheaper. So, yeah, uh, it's a pretty good deal. Uh, it's going to make the build guides interesting next month between that and the 7870. Yeah, it's basically um, a direct 7870 competitor because the 7870 retails MSRP for $10 more. So it's going to come down to the factory overclocked stuff, I think. Yeah, so it's going to come down to those gigahertz models and for the win or OC models, that kind of thing. But for 230 it's pretty damn good. Yeah, we were, we were talking about this the other day. That, uh, the If you remember the 560 Ti and then moving down to the 560... That was a huge step down. The 560 generation. was a piece of shit. Yeah, the basically. 560 was not was not even in the same category as the 560 Ti. So it's nice that at least Nvidia is kind of like their lineup is making a little more sense. Where the 660 and the 660 Ti are, you know, are fairly still fairly close. Obviously, the yeah. Ti is the better card, but the 660 is actually something you would want to put in your PC. Whereas the 560, like I wasn't, I wouldn't have recommended that really to anyone. Yeah, so it's a solid card at that price point, and in response, right after, well, basically right around the same time, AMD lowered prices on the 7000 series cards, all of them, actually. Uh, so the 7870 is gigahertz editions are now only 10 bucks more, so that's not bad. It's going to make it interesting for us doing the build guys next month. Yeah, the one that I yeah. think is the most interesting out of that lineup is that the 7850 is down to $200. And I think that yeah. $200 price point is kind of the sweet spot for a lot of people. <clears throat> mm -hmm. So I could Especially see that being a budget. popular choice. What do you know about the GTX 470 that's still in my computer case and kicking? Like, Just get a yeah. 660, Scott. Come on. You mean kicking? Like, what, what do you mean by kicking? I mean, it's I I could run everything. Okay, I've said this before. I'm running. I'm not running 1080p on all games uh, because I <laughs> okay, my primary monitor. <laughs> yeah, but I don't need 1080p. 1080p is for chumps. I need <laughs> I need 1440 by 900 to two ms response time on a mag in a vision monitor that i've had for we just, four we years. just legitimately lost half of our viewers yeah well i'm saying <laughs> no this is what i'm saying about this i i am fine with 1440 by 900 it's not the best resolution hell it's an old resolution but it allows me to scale my hardware and run every game pretty much maxed <laughs> that's out a, that's a laptop so, monitor dude hey dude you know what i love it i love I'm telling it. you scott i'm i'm not gonna upgrade for another I year know 
I know you know nothing about hardware, but well, if you're going to wait and just do the whole thing, you might as well just wait. Yeah, I'm going to wait. But, I'll do another build at some point, but literally, I'm telling you, every game that I've played, I can pretty much max out. I can max Battlefield out. 1440 by 900. Yeah. I'm not Come surprised. On. Scott, Scott's like, I don't need to. I don't care. I'll use my CRT. It's fine, dude. <laughs> I would use the CRT sound if like I had me. one. You sound like me that's- in streaming. Yeah. See, I'll just run this like, game in 1280, people, dude. Don't worry about it. When people <laughs> say that the, that like their you know their 6850 can run can run all games on highest settings, I'm yeah. like, okay, maybe at 800 by 600, but you have to. <laughs> hey, hey, listen. Some 1440 content. by 900 is not 800 by 600. Okay, it's quite yeah, a step it's up. Good point. I'm, it's, it's, it could be worse, guys. It could be. It could worse. be way it worse. Be, it could be way. Could worse. be Colin in yeah. PS3 beta <laughs> running the game in a 640, wasn't it? 640 by 360 <laughs> window. <laughs> And get well, and still getting what like forty frames. It was a slideshow. It was a slideshow, <laughs> dude. Still, that GT two twenty was out of oh its league. God. Anyway, yeah. At but, some point, I will definitely do a build. But it's like for now, it's like I don't. Uh, games look fine, and I can run everything. I think, on I think your next upgrade games. is going to be a better monitor. It sounds like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, actually, I have a 1080p monitor, but I use that to look, on, look at tweets and tweet back. <laughs> I don't game on it. Wow, you, you have lost so much respect. It is, real, it is real classy, dude. I can't get away from this mag innovation <laughs> monitor, dude. Mag for life, dude. And, uh, so, and uh, speaking of a next year upgrade, Scott, and that's what I'm yes. doing as well. Um, Haswell details have actually come out. The Intel Developer Forum or Conference, whatever, was this past week and basically i'm not going to go into the it, it's like super detailed like for yeah. for developers but anyway haswell's going to use even less power than ivy bridge which is kind of insane to even think about but um with things as low as they are now but the the onboard graphics and this is something we've talked about before especially for you people looking for console replacements like at a 400 hundred dollar mark right. um Haswell is going to have two times the graphics power, onboard graphics, as Ivy Bridge. So they had it running Skyrim in 1080p on the floor there, just the chip, no graphics card. Yeah, that's crazy. So, and it was running pretty well. And uh, AMD's Trinity also comes out next month. And we're going to be adding a lower tier build to our build guides around a $500 price mark, I think, is what we're going to try for. Uh, so that'll be kind of the price point, but it'll probably be somewhere yeah, around there. somewhere around there. Um, and try to make a console replacement type PC for people uh, with possibly with Trinity. We don't know. Trinity, according to Bob, Trinity's pretty good. He's already had his hands on it. Um, but hey, just yeah. for everyone in the chat, I've just linked the monitor that I own. If you want a game at fourteen forty by nine hundred, uh, right now you can get it for the low low price of one hundred and fifty dollars. <laughs> Uh, Scott, is, let me tell you something. Wow, that is my yeah, for that. my Asus two uh, 1080p monitor yeah. I bought last oh, Black God. Friday was a hundred dollars. Well, hey, I'm telling you, you pay for ten Nobody million to one. 1080. <laughs> hey, Nobody dude. needs that. You don't. You don't need it. It's nice. But you <laughs> I, don't believe, need I believe. I believe the direct quote was 1080p is for chumps. <laughs> it is 1080p is for chumps, dude. <laughs> <laughs> but uh you don't need that but Haswell Scott if you're gonna be it is gonna be better than Ivy Bridge <laughs> and it'll be the same iteration up okay. it's gonna more power well, I will say and, at least processor wise my i7 2600k dude oh uh, yeah kills still so it's a beast I was gonna say yeah, that's right. you've got you've already got the processor you really just need yeah. a new video card yeah that's true I, I I will at some point I'm, I'm I probably will do that before I do a full rebuild you're right but the, so, the Haswell stuff looks really good um because it's a talk I have a feeling that even though they're emphasizing their graphics chip stuff, I think the the CPU performance I'm I'm expecting it to be bigger than Sandy Bridge to Ivy Bridge was, which was a respectable bump, but not you know you weren't running out to replace your Sandy Bridge chips. Obviously, um, the the one thing that stood out to me that I it probably isn't really that big a deal for most gamers, but uh, they have a new uh, like power state. So you yeah. have you have S zero is your active state. That's when just when your PC is on. Then you have S three and S four, which is sleep and hibernate. Well, they have a new power state called S zero IX, which is an extremely low power active state, which apparently is going to extend ba- like good. battery life on laptops mm-hmm. by a ton. Um, you know, it doesn't it's like affect, ten watts or something. Absolutely, yeah, it's it's ludicrous, just, it's ridiculous. So that's not you know that's not really a gaming feature per se, 
but it's it's nice to see that uh, I mean right. I think that's going to have a big you know that's going to have a big effect on like laptops and things like that I mean it's you're moving I think we're moving oh. to a, a place where we have a ton of CPU power a ton of GPU power and it sips actual power <laughs> yeah and and the other thing that they're going to be implementing on this, which to, again has nothing to do with, with gaming, but it's still pretty cool. What they're doing is they're trying to move towards these co- whole computer on one chip. Mm-hmm. So Haswell's going to have a variant for like tablets and stuff like that um, that has the wireless internet, the, the wireless adapter mm. built into the chip. Yeah, Wi-Fi on a chip. <laughs> nice. So that's crazy. Like you'll have graphics, the chip, and wireless on that. So this is reminding have, me though, scarily of the. TVs that had DVD, VCR <laughs> built in, and then when one of them breaks, you're totally fucked because you're not replacing that component in in the thing because it's all on one board or whatever the fuck how they used to do it. Yeah. So, anyway, yeah, I know but what you're saying it's going to be cheap, regardless. Though. Yeah, those can switch off though in a PC. You can have right. your own one. Yeah, that's true. Switch them off. But still, it's pretty cool. So uh, if you're if you're on Sandy Bridge now, and I uh, 2600K, 2500K, Haswell might be the next thing you look at. Um, I just need to point out that Apex Boost raises a great point in my monitor argument. He says you can't even see over 480p anyways, which is totally true. <laughs> so, yeah, what, what are we talking about? You can't even see. I can't see over 720 upscaled. Xbox <laughs> support. Yeah, you can't. So, so moving on <laughs> to uh, some gaming news now. Getting out of the hardware. Um uh, Frictional Games came out this week, and Amnesia's been out for two years now, it looks like. But Frictional Games came out this week, and uh, Frictional did did kind of a little interview, and their lead programmer, Thomas Grip, said, It's been over a year since we even thought about piracy. With sales as good as they are, we cannot really see this as an issue worth more than two lines in this post, so <laughs> screw it. That's awesome. It's like the anti-Ubisoft over at Frictional <laughs> Um, they are our Jesus. But this is the thing. We all love this about PC. We talk about it all the time. The modding community. Yep. Um, doing everything. Look at you know all the, the big channels right now. All it is. Gary's Mod and, yep. and Source Mods. And he's saying uh, that a game can still be going this good after two years is tr- after releasing is truly remarkable. The success is due to many factors, some of which are the uniqueness of the game, uh, which Amnesia was really one of the first... You have no weapons, kind of horror games. Horror yeah. games, uh, and the large modding community, and the steady flood of YouTube clips, of course. But uh, yeah, so a game developer that actually gets it, and uh, I tweeted about it a little today. Um, <sighs> yep. So I tweeted about it today. I know. Sorry, I was gonna cough super loud. I was loud. getting nervous there. I thought you were having a heart attack. I didn't know what to do. But. Uh, no, they, they get it. Like, I don't get why these, uh, for instance, Modern, I know we always bring up Modern Warfare 3 as a shit game, but, like, it comes to mind for this because of the, you know, lack of modability. And if they had just, like, allowed mods, maybe it would still be doing something. Because people had to make everything to break it. Dark Souls is the, the late, latest one that's really failed. Mm. Um, but let your game be moddable. Let it. It is. It's. I mean. Let it open. I'm thinking about how many games that I. Okay. Counter Strike mod mod of Half Life. Yep. Uh, League of Legends, which even goes back to if we go back to Han and Dota. Dota, Dota is just a mod. It's, yeah, it's just yeah, a mod. Which is a mod. Like how many? It's just so funny to think about. You're right. Like modding is is the lifeblood of the PC community in a lot of ways. Um. um and Torchlight Two will be fully moddable. Um. Another game that we talked about after PAX Recoil. Those developers are like, we want to give you mod tools right on release. Remake this game into whatever you want. Um, DayZ, you know? Right. All this stuff. Yeah. So, just don't worry about piracy. Just make your game last. That would be the better option than coming out with the Call of Duty every year. So, but next up we have the War Z, which is this, like, kind of DayZ... Not really a clone, necessarily. It's more of, like, an MMO. <laughs> but mm-hmm. it's going to be free to play, and the weirdest thing is you can buy items with cash, but you can lose them permanently. I don't know about that. I like it. All right, so I got in a little tiff with uh, Eat My Addiction on Twitter over this little thing. Not a tiff, but oh, we were yeah, a little, a little tiff. I got a little, little tiff. tiff. Yeah, yeah. A little tiff. Yeah, got a little tiff. Then I pissed all over his leather couch. 
Yeah, and yeah, I ate yeah. His joeys. Yeah, right in front of him. <laughs> ate his, <laughs> ate all his joeys. A little inconsistent with the accent. Put them all in my mouth. Shut up, Nick. I can't. <laughs> okay, sir. But anyway, no, yeah, he he said, well, he said that's retarded, blah blah. Or he just he wasn't a fan like you, Dan. He was kind of like, what's the point? I don't want to pay money for something and then lose it permanently. I can go gamble or whatever. But I would. My argument is, I totally see it. Like high stakes, people will do this. I think it's going to be a nightmare on the developer side and maintenance side when hackers oh, yeah. start getting into the game and taking people's shit because you know it's going to get hacked like every game at some point. Yeah. So that's really where, like, I can see it becoming a nightmare, and they probably will go do away with it once that shit starts happening because people will jack items, and I'm sure there's ways that that can be done. Oh, um, but I think it's a good idea. I would do it, like, if, especially if it's like 25 cents or a dollar, and it's really going to help you. And let's say, like, you know, you want to survive for longer, and it's like, okay, well, if I buy this gun, my chances are way better. I mean, yeah, I can see it. I, I, I don't. I, I think high stakes, man. I kind of, I kind of agree. Like, I agree in theory. I don't like. It's not something I would ever personally spend money on, but I don't have a problem with it. Where I think the problem comes in is, like you said, the game is going to get hacked, right. and so when you have some kid who spent like twenty bucks <laughs> pimping out his character, and then the hacker teleports everyone to a bus and he <laughs> dies, that yeah. kid is going to be really angry. And yeah. I feel like just from a customer support perspective and kind of a, a brand perspective, you're setting yourself up for very difficult times. But I, I think I agree with you as well, though. Like if stuff is cheap, if you make stuff cost like 25 cents or let's mm-hmm. say like an AS50 or something, you know, a sniper rifle is like a dollar. I think yeah. that maybe that's too low. I don't know. But I'm just saying like if you make it low stakes in terms of what it costs, maybe it would work. Because if you did get hacked, it's like, well, OK, you know, I didn't lose that much. But I have a feeling they won't do that because they're, you know, I, I, that, the model just doesn't really work that way. They're going to make stuff. Well, they're going to make stuff expensive. This will be the one positive thing we say about Blizzard tonight. What I'm going to say about this is uh, Diablo three did it right with this because Hardcore has no real money auction house, and that makes a ton of sense to me. Like. Obviously, players dictate prices, and you can spend what you want on on the auction house in Diablo. Um, but to me, this is a bad move. I don't know. I, I see from your side, Scott. I see it. Yeah. I see the gambling aspect. I see the kind of rush that could give too. Oh yeah. If you spent like, so then you, you go could be like, you buy some friends like and you, a yeah, friends and you. Let's spend ten bucks on War Z tonight and see what happens. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like it. But. But on the other hand, from their side, I think this is a terrible move for the people who work there. Like, <laughs> yeah, no, I agree. I think it's going to be a total nightmare logistically to try to deal with hackers and people saying that they bought this and then it, they died. And then think about people will file tickets. I guarantee you. Like, let's say someone yep. buys a gun and then they get someone walks behind them and shoots them in the head like five minutes in. They'll be like, "I was unfairly killed and I spent a dollar." It's just going to be fucking a nightmare. I just I cannot see that that working out, which is probably why it's such a big deal because no one else has done this before. Because yeah, because of the logistics. Yeah, so just spend your money on league skins. Okay, you know what? I am going to spend my money on league skins. I'm about to buy the Nautilus astronaut skin, so you can fuck off. Okay. Really? So. So up next, Blizzard is a scumbag. That's what I wrote in here. And. Uh, <laughs> The reason I wrote that is if you guys didn't see this, uh, Blizzard and this, the the controversy here is that when you take World of Warcraft has its own screenshot function that you can use, and it's actually quite handy. It puts them all in a nice nice folder for you. Doesn't lag the game at all. Don't need a third party program. But apparently, someone someone with a lot of time had noticed some weird artifacts covering the screenshots, and decided to dig into them. And it turns out that the artifacts, if you put them together as kind of like like a barcode almost, yep. they contain realm and account information and timestamps and your character what? name and all this stuff. And the thing that's kind of the controversy here is not really that they're doing that. It's it's that that it's not in the TOS at all. Mm, and it's information shitty. It's information that is on the screenshots. So when you post them online, it is on there. So hmm. if someone knew how to decipher this, they could find your character name. The point of it, supposedly, is that it's supposed to find IPs of like private WoW servers, which are illegal. 
uh, which a lot of people use because the game sucks now. Mm. And it used to be good, <laughs> so they want to play like just Classic or just Burning Crusade. Um, yeah, they do it to find. It's not that it's not it's not that the information is useful. Someone in chat just said the information is useless. It's not so much that it's useful. It's more that they didn't they didn't tell people this. Right. Um, is what people are complaining about. If you put that in the TOS, there's no. I mean, nobody cares. Like, you need to put that somewhere. You need to let players know. Uh, so. Not that anyone actually reads the TOS except Brandon, because I can imagine Brandon reading the entire TOS and deciphering it before hitting really? accept. Yeah, really? I can. Yes, Brandon, I told you. Do you know how long the TOS Brandon's is? Brandon's actually going to start a book club around just reading terms of service. <laughs> different different terms, of, terms of service every week. Do you want to you know the only people who have ever read a terms of service? The people that wrote it? The people that wrote the terms of service. Yeah, that's true. Yep. And in most cases, probably not even them, because they probably just paid yeah, like, they some probably, lawyers. They probably took it. some other term of, terms of service yep. and just yeah. like, changed actually, a couple names. I think names. there's only one, like, one terms of service document that's ever been written, and then every every other terms of service in the world is just copied from that one. It's just like the, the first one just had the blanks in it, so you could put the, like, the name of your company and the name of the product <laughs> in. List for terms of service. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> so up next is a really welcome. This well, is just on, kind hold of hold on. Are we get, are we all right, about, all right. Not dude. Blizzard here. I think this this the one thing I have to say about this is like this is the most random thing to happen to find. They've been doing this since '08, and some dude randomly stumbles upon this in screenshots. And even like looking at this post yeah. that this guy made, like how. How do you even decipher this stuff? You're like, oh, here's you know, here's some some dots. I'll it's just, super complicated. I'll just see if yeah, they make, I'll just see if they make some secret code. Yeah, uh, I, honestly, this doesn't surprise me at all, and I wouldn't be surprised if other you know other big games like I, I'm thinking especially like Sony games. I would not be surprised at all if other games do this kind of thing. I wouldn't be surprised if this kind of thing is in a lot of different areas that we don't even realize it um, well, you don't it's probably in the tos us. just not under the the way that they're looking for it it's probably the, covered the, under some the tos is so broad yeah it could cover yeah, anything explicitly but the yeah. the tos is just is basically there so that you can't sue them for things and i'm i'm confident that you wouldn't be able to take blizzard to court for this and and win i don't even know what you sue them yeah. for but you yeah. know it's like i this should not surprise anyone. I would, I would expect any time you're using an in-game tool to do anything, expect that it's being logged somewhere. Expect right. that, that everything yeah, that you're absolutely. doing is being logged if you're doing it within the game. If you don't, if you don't want any risk of that, take exactly. screenshots with Fraps or DX3 or something yeah. else. But I agree. I do anyway. kind of... Sometimes I get a little annoyed at the, the mock, quote-unquote, outrage over stuff like this. That's it's like I agree. Like it's always. I'm not outraged. I'm not saying I think you it's are. Kind of I'm, shitty, I'm more saying, yeah, like, it's, you're pointing out. Pointing I can al- it. I and I can also see it. like it could have usefulness now that it's out there. I mean, you could like you could see when screenshots were taken, see which version of WoW it was from. Right. I mean, I don't know. Yeah. Like, I'm not saying that information is like super useful, and they probably were doing it to try to find out, you know, private server IPs or whatever. But I mean, still, like the information could be useful to Blizzard from a diagnostic perspective. I, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Well, no, it's it is to find private servers. That's why it's there. Well, the IP of the server. Okay. Is well, they, they haven't possible. they haven't said that specifically. The IP of the server you're on could mean a lot of different things. And like I said, I'm I believe, sure Blizzard knows their server IPs. I, Maybe they they, they do. I'm <laughs> saying hope. it could still be diagnostically relevant. I'm I I'm not saying that they're doing this out of the goodness of their hearts. I'm sure it was to find private servers and to do other nefarious things with that information. But my point is that I'm not surprised or shocked at all that they were yeah. doing this. I'm I'm amazed that someone found it. That's what I I mean, the fact that someone actually did this just just is ridiculous to me. Almost as ridiculous as Scott Fisher right now. I don't know what's happening <laughs> over with Scott Nick. <laughs> But Sorry. Sorry. we're going to move on to uh, a game that looks really good, despite Origin. Uh, SimCity. Uh, PC Gamer got hands-on with SimCity, finally. And uh, the full article is awesome. Uh, it's a, like kind of a full preview. They don't have the full game. It was only like a 45-minute thing. Um, but you can... 
they did they did detail with them the city world aspect of it, which is basically the multiplayer regions that are gonna gonna be in there and why there's an always online aspect. Um, it's gonna be just like Battlelog, so we can look forward to that. Yeah! Uh, another set of plugins, guys. <laughs> The city log, yes. City log? Oh, yeah, it tracks your fence progress, tells everyone how they're doing, shows a leaderboard on, like, everything. Um, but, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see if that's that's a hassle or not. Can I just I, say, I, everything you've just said makes me want the game much less. <laughs> oh, boy. I still want it, so. <laughs> I, but... I, I don't understand the SimCity thing. I feel like that flew past me. Like I never, I never, I never played SimCity. So, all right. Well, that's a problem with you. Well, that's that's another problem. Like you never had had an Arizona iced tea in your entire life until you came out to California. So that falls under that. Category. I started watching Braveheart for the first time tonight. <laughs> Damn it! I don't. Jesus! You started watching it like you. It's, so, yeah, are you it's three hours it long. Seconds? It's oh, three but hours Scott. long. Scott, you were excited by the glass box demo. Yes, yeah, no, the glass box demo um, was awesome, and I played I played Sim, Sim City back in the day. Yeah, I'm excited and, for it still. So the, he got this guy's obviously playing it. Right. And he's like, here's a cool example of what it does. He built a power plant and on the east of his city and saw that he was pumping out you know lots of fumes. It was a coal power plant, and uh, he basically saw that he needed to he needed to turn it off or move it because the fumes were being pushed east towards the residential district, which in turn was causing everyone to get sick, etc. So the wind affected the city. So they really have wow, this down. Wow, that's crazy. To some pretty crazy detail at this point. Um, it's the same as putting like a sewer plant next to your water tower, that kind of thing. The groundwater will seep and you'll be able to watch it happen and that's, then everyone gets awesome. sick. And stops going to work, and then business. I will definitely suffer. be doing that on purpose when I just so, say I will save. Oh my yeah! Game. Remember, you used to do that in Sims Day all the time. Save the game, and then just fuck it. Save, down yeah, there. I remember doing yeah. that all the time. That's great, Nick, dude. I'm great, dude. Wow. My first game was Halo on Xbox too. I love that shit. It's my favorite. <laughs> I played so, Zoo Tycoon. If you want to talk about Zoo Tycoon, but uh, basically, at the end of the demo, speaking of the uh, the disaster, Scott. Uh, yeah. A meteor strike hit your city at the end of the press demo. <laughs> oh, shit. Fucking leveled it. So, yeah, there was nothing nothing his plan could do. So we're going to finish out the news after that. So SimCity is looking good. Glassbox is... I was going to say, Sim look- City, the SimCity itself looks really good. I just... I, I don't understand why they want to make all these, like, barriers to entry to actually playing the game. Like, the always online stuff, having to join through City Log, I'm guessing... It's like yeah. that. That was such a hassle with Battlefield. My PC is just going to be EA plugins by the time. I love done. when Brandon says barrier to entry. It gets me hard every time. <laughs> every goddamn time. Hard as a goddamn hammer, dude. As Brian, I love British it. robot would say. Um, <laughs> but we're going to finish out here after the mess that is EA with Good Guy Steam with three three Valve stories here to end it out. First of all, this is a little quick hit, but it's something that had been sorely needed. You could kind of do this yourself, I believe, before. Yeah, you could do it through junctions with Windows. But uh, Steam has added an actual feature now to choose the install drive of your games. Fine. So mm. you can install the other drives. So for me, it, yeah. I'm, I'm under 100 gigs on my main drive now, so I'm... I'm uh, looking to actually do that. It doesn't work with all games. It doesn't believe, but you have to opt into the Steam betas if you aren't. And uh, there's a bunch of stuff you can do, but it'll be on lots of games. It isn't on... They said in this article that it isn't on... It isn't on Arkham City, but it was on Arkham Asylum. So, I'm not sure why, but yeah. Well, it's in, it's on so, in beta right now, right? So, I'm sure once it rolls out to to the live version of Steam. It'll probably work for, for all games, I would imagine. Yeah. So, pretty cool, because it is, especially with people with SSDs now, who want to put certain games on the SSD and certain games not, uh, this will be cool for you, too. Yeah, I love, so, uh, I, love, uh, to uh, I love recording to my SSD, like Incredible Orb. It's one of my favorite things to do. <laughs> yeah, dude. It's great. <laughs> so... On the other hand, we talked about Greenlight uh, in previous weeks, but Greenlight greenlit its first projects last week. 
Uh, and the first approved titles, one of which doesn't really matter, is Black Mesa. That was one of them. Half of these are mods, which is the cool thing. Yeah. No More Root in Hell, which is a mod. Yeah. Cry of Fear, which is a mod. And then uh, Heroes and Generals, Dream, Kenshi, McPixel, which is kind of a crazy game. I took a look at that one. It's I couldn't even tell what was going on. Uh, Project Zomboid, Routine, and Towns. These are the ones that got greenlit first. So you can look for those to actually be on Steam now. And I think those so. were the top ten games that received the most votes. Was it Slender so. Source up there and it got declined? It got declined. Yep. Good. Well, is it? Did well, it get it's not really. It's not really a board. game. It's, yeah, it's not really out yet. Yeah. Oh, Slender Source. I'm thinking of those other Slender mods. Yeah, Slender Source oh, yeah, is yeah. not finished though. Right. Right. It's, so well, that's I mean, it looks like they ju- they just took the top ten in votes. So it doesn't look like they. I mean, they haven't really exercised any of their own power. That was pretty much all the community so far. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. It's actually the system is starting to work now, so we'll see that. I don't know how long they're going to uh, to be, re- or how long like a release kind of review is for these games. But Valve has said other approved Greenlight titles will be released independently in the coming months, though on various stages of completion. So, yeah, that's definitely cool. It's awesome to see Va- Valve, I mean obviously it's a really well done mod, but Valve greenlighting a mod of their own game is I mean, well a bunch of them. But like the just we'll, higher, higher more like guys. the Black Mesa one. <laughs> yeah, just the higher specifically yeah. just Overall. Half-Life 1. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's cool. I wouldn't be surprised if they hire all those guys. Yeah, definitely. So, really good. And the final story of the news and also the uh <clears throat> final Valve thing here. The Steam Linux client release looks imminent. Um, Linux is now a type of game. You can search for Linux games on regular Steam now. Uh, Games for Linux. There's always the Mac category and the Windows category, but now the Linux category is in there. And no specific uh, date has been announced yet, but people seem to seem to think it's it's getting very close um, October 26th, the Windows 8 launch day is the thing that a lot of people think it's going to be. Just kind of to <laughs> spite them. Microsoft a little bit. Um, yeah. I'm serious, man. Steam on Linux, if it gets working right and you can get games that actually work consistently without a ton of, uh, without a ton of hassle, I would be on Linux in a second. It's, it's just nicer to use for a lot of stuff, so, and faster. Um, so, keep on look out for that, guys, especially if you want to dabble in Linux, but gaming is kind of holding you back from doing that. I know Sean, our tech guy, has, like, a bunch of games working on Does Linux he? right now, really? but it can take some fiddling. Uh, yeah, he's got pretty much Skyrim, COD 4, a bunch of uh, Source games. Nice. Um, so, he's, he's yeah, had... Yeah, I've got Crisis kind of, 3 on iOS, so... Congrats, dude. Wow, dude. Mm. Wow, dude. You plug in all right, your guys, USB we're... controller to that in your phone. That's all I got. <laughs> Pretty sure phones don't have USB connectors, but uh, some of them do, dude. Mine well, does. I mean, it's not like a USB, like a 3.0. And now it's time for Twitter questions with the KB Mod Podcast. All right, so we're gonna head into the Twitter questions here. And first of all, we got Slam Tars. My voice is almost giving out of me here. <laughs> Slam Tarts asks, yeah. which augmentation are you looking forward no, 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 to the most? No, no, the- no. Which augmentation oh. are you look forward the most in the future? Wow. <laughs> this is from Slam Tarts? Slam well, tarts? I mean, if, if that's the question, it prob- it's probably like being able to see in, into the future. Because if you're looking forward, if you look forward the most. That's a good point. And if Nick. you look forward the most in the future, is it, yeah, that sounds like it's like, it's like talk- which one are you expecting to be the most forward? <laughs> the the, yeah. the kicker is the parentheses, which is killing me. <laughs> is his mine <laughs> is ankles. Mine is ankles. His ankles are the Can most I get forward. That tattooed on my ass. Mine is ankles. <laughs> just in per, just per, parentheses. Guys, mine is ankles. Get a tramp get stamp. Get a trending. Just as mine mine is, ankles. is ankles. <laughs> I can relate. I've had I've had issues with my ankles. I broke my right ankle twice. So I would like to have some augmentation that would make it like it was new again, but 
Anyway. Get some JSX <laughs> going on in your ankles. Yeah. Well, I, I need know. legs. I need legs after Nick Fenton's Friday stream or Thursday. Yeah. So. Oh, yeah, because of that, the beer you did. Well, two oh, weeds. No, you did two, did weeds. two weeds. That's what it was. You did two two weeds. weeds and lost my legs. It's it unbelievable terrible. how little it takes. And then we found out that Cables died that night, too. Rest, so. in, rest in peace, Kevin Best. Kevin Best. <laughs> I want, Kevin Worst. I want died. augmented eyes so I can have, like, hawk eyes. Just, like, I don't. That sounded like lasers. That doesn't. Uh, lasers would be cool too. Cool too. I'd get laser eyes. So, Hutch has a good suggestion eyes. from the chat. He says, "How about a hair augmentation? Because your mohawk looks dumb." That's great, Hutch. That's great, dude. I'm glad you come and come to this podcast, dude, and just talk and spread hate, dude. Hey, That's dude what's up? This is host migration episode 11.5. That's funny, Nick. That's great, dude. <laughs> I think I'd want to go with uh, like augmented arms. So I feel like you know you can lift really heavy stuff. I feel like that'd probably be the most useful. Yeah, they'd be modeled after Dunkus. <laughs> <laughs> they'd be Dunkus arms, some giant arms, um, giant tan arms. I think augmented dicks are going to be huge for the training community. Um, that's going to yeah, augmented vaginas, whichever way you go. Yeah, um, whichever way be you able swing. To just fucking pop one of those in there and. Swap them out. <laughs> Swap them out, dude. Swap out the dick or the badge. Decide who you're fucking tonight. That's legit. Boom. Get some different colors. That actually happened in Ghost in the Shell at one point, I believe. Mm. So I love anime, go. dude. I love manga. I love Naruto. <laughs> <laughs> and I love Digimon. I, I bet you do love Digimon. I did love Digimon. I'm sure you did. I'm sure you did. Digimon. Digital monsters. <laughs> Digimon are the champions. <laughs> He's, he's just relived just every day of Nick Fenton's middle school yep. experience. Mid- middle well, school, minus, that's really bad. Like, just the <laughs> <laughs> minus getting Nick and singing up time. On like, themes. This is when I was like seven, but middle... Actually, yeah, middle school. Yeah, I, I, I meant what I said. Yeah. So did I. All right, next question. <laughs> Sage Spartan 007 asks... What's up, Sage? Uh, what are some games that are known to be horrible, but you love? Mine is... Uh, Advent Rising, which nobody has probably ever played, but but a Ryan down a beatdown, Nick fan. Oh. <laughs> they had a big patch recently. They, they tell me it's a lot better. Yeah, they emailed Brandon. Yeah. So. Well, it yeah, wasn't it a title update or something. Yeah, I don't know. It actually said it was... in the email we wanted to fix everything that was broken. <laughs> so they the email, email, the email starts mean. with "We're sorry." Yeah. <laughs> But um, I'm trying to think of something. I, I don't play games asked. that are that are horrible ever, so I really don't have an answer. Well, no, think you got to think back. Yeah, I got to go back though. All right, let me see a game that I loved. Um, oh, ESPN Extreme Sports for PlayStation One, fucking horrendous <laughs> game. Played the shit out of it. Uh, I'm trying to think of console gaming. Oh, okay, Jedi I got a great one. I got a great one. Okay, so. I used to love the original Driver for the PlayStation was one of my favorite games of all time. Oh, Driver. The original. Driver 2 was one of the biggest abominations ever made, programming-wise and gameplay-wise. So it was the game that you could actually get out of the car and do stuff, but there was no collision detection. You could run through buildings and shit. You couldn't run into pedestrians. It would go right through them, and they always ran left to right. The game would freeze over and over again to the point where the only time I actually played through a mission without it crashing was when I played it on a PS2 like four years later. Uh, Driver 2, yeah. I used, but I still played the shit out of it because I love the Driver franchise, but Driver 2 yeah. is a I've, fuck. It I've is mentioned this game before, but Champions of Norath for PlayStation 2. Mm. One of the all-time... Same deal, dude. Everything was programmed horribly. All we did... It was an EverQuest clone. It's like, kind of. <laughs> like, it was just a four-player co-op RPG. Like, hack and slash Diablo type thing. Like Gauntlet? Yes, like Gauntlet, actually. A lot like Gauntlet. Mm. But all we did was glitch the weapons. Like, you could dupe the weapons just by having a saved character come in a game after you dropped it. Like, nothing worked correctly. Um, it was... Yeah, Tino's, dude. Champions of Norath was awesome. Gauntlet is bad. But it was terrible. It was an awful game. But it was <laughs> awesome. <laughs> I've got to go with uh, probably Star Wars Galaxies. Like, from just from a... Yeah. From the stance in that game, there was so much that was broken. Like, mm. half the stuff in the game legitimately did not work. Things like, uh, what was it? I don't know. There were, like, attachments and stuff that they just they did nothing. Literally, the stat did nothing. 
it said. I mean, it, <laughs> yeah. it just it was lies. It was all lies. The stats yeah. are a lie. Yeah, and so like people would get people would get items and attachments. The max was plus twenty five that you could get. And if you got something like plus twenty five rifle speed, that was like millions and millions and millions of credits. If you got something, I'm trying to remember one of the broken ones, like I don't know, like droid engineering or something. If you got like a plus, you know, plus twenty droid engineering, literally worth nothing. Because it did nothing. But I love that wow. game. Yeah. You loved it despite everything. Despite what about all, you? Its, all its despite flaws. Despite its flaws. Yeah, I would, that's, yeah. I'm trying to think of any other games. I mean, Driver 2 is a big one. Jedi Power World Battles. Of, okay. Jedi Power <laughs> Battles, I love. I don't think Jedi Power Battles was a game that people were fucking beating their, going to GameStop, fucking getting in at midnight or anything. I don't know what it got review wise, but. Um, uh. You know I love Jedi Power Battles. Right? Original World of Warcraft had a lot of broken shit, yeah. and yet we still played it. It was kind of in that same vein. What about you, Knackfitten? M- mine was Advent Rising. Oh, that's right. What about Shadowrun, dude? Oh, God, Shadowrun, Shadowrun isn't a horrible game, so I can't really say that. <laughs> <laughs> and anyone that has played Shadowrun would agree with me. <laughs> Obviously, Pokemon Snap as well. Lincoln here said he waited for four hours in oh, Funko Land for hell Jedi Power no, Battles. Oh, you did not call Pokemon Snap a bad game. <laughs> hell no. <laughs> you know how disrespected I feel right now, Brandon? God damn. No, I actually, no, I actually own, like, I owned Pokemon Snap. I actually liked that game when I was a kid. Yeah. Can I, I rant it. real quick? I always bring up Funko Land. I feel like Funko Land's been brought up, like, four times in the last four episodes. But Funko Land was when gaming... Gaming commercials were funny. Who do you think you are, Funko Land? Remember when they plugged in the fucking? They're playing PS One games on the big fucking theater screen. Funko Land was before all the fucking cancer that is GameStop came over and bought everything. Funko Land was legit. Yep. They weren't there to fucking totally rip you off. There were people that actually game that were knowledgeable. Funko Land was when console gaming was legitimate, and now it's all a fuckery. <laughs> Fuck games. Oh. <laughs> Wow! Drop the mic. Talk, Drop the mic. I don't, know, I don't even have words. Just tell that your was, emotions to Steve Irwin. That was his. That was his swan song. That was the rant of the week. That's right his there. swan song. Wow, that's kind of sad. Oh, he's back. Never mind. <laughs> wow, that was that was your KP Mod rant of the week out of fucking nowhere. Scott Fisher. <laughs> Losing Dude. his mind over Sorry. Funko Land. I just started thinking about how <laughs> awesome it was. I used to be in the back of my dad's car. We'd be driving back from church. I'd be like, Dad, can we go to Funko Land? And once in a while, he'd find it in his heart to take me to Funko Land, and he'd even buy me a game. And those were the best goddamn memories I ever had. And you know what? <laughs> now, if a kid's in the back of his car in a fucking Prius, in a fucking <laughs> Prius, driving to Funko Land... And now someone's going to go, oh, can we go to GameSpot, GameStop, whatever the fuck it's called. And you go there, and guess what? You're going to get sixty a $65 Xbox game <laughs> that gets you fucking 30 FPS. <laughs> wow. KB Mod, episode 60, never forget. never forget. If you're listening to the audio version of this podcast, I would implore you to go watch the video solely for what has just taken place. I don't know why that got me so goddamn mad. I'm sorry, but I... I just started thinking about Funko Land and all the good times. God, I'm getting emotional. I think I speak for so, everyone, Scott, when I say don't apologize. Yeah, yeah. I don't yeah. know what Funko Land is, so Jesus Christ. And this don't, is Nick don't, Vincent's don't. podcast. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. I'm not going to apologize for being 14. <laughs> so, oh my God, I used to buy games at KB Toys, bro. I remember that. So. I remember that. That's wow, dude! Driver. Clearly, you ripped off KB Mod from KB Toys. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what KB stood for in KB Toys. Wow! Cool. <laughs> oh shit! We're gonna get a cease right. and desist letter from KB Toys. <laughs> that company is so non-existent, dude. <laughs> At Sage the Elephant asks, if you had to spend one day with Little B the Base God, praise him. Mm. What would you do? <laughs> That's how it's phrased. I like that. He put the praise him in there. I would be a California um, boy with him. Do a lot of a lot of respecting things, as I understand. It. <laughs> and and you'd have to be really happy to be alive. Really happy. Yeah, definitely happy. I would I would want to be in a music video of his. That would be good enough for me. I just want to be in a music video with. Yeah, we'd film something. He could make a song right there. 
I've never seen anyone crank out as many music. That guy just... He only has 12 mixtapes in 2012. I don't think you'll understand. <laughs> only 12. <laughs> 12. I think one of them has like 35 tracks. Unbelievable. I don't even know. I think we'd all be in a video then. We Definitely. Would all... I would love to be in a video. Yeah, a video where we're just like respecting women. Yeah. Tons of that. <laughs> I just scrolled down, ladies and gentlemen. I just scrolled down the document to an awesome picture of Dunkus. I just, <laughs> I didn't know that was that there until next just this moment. Dunkus photo. I mean, Best. goodness. All right. Next question saves the elephant double dipping here. Uh, if you had to have a KB Mod member become your prison cellmate, who would it be? Remember, you have to survive mm. prison with him. Mm. This is all going to go back. Well, it wouldn't be Nick Fenton. It wouldn't be. Nick. That's absolutely yeah, not. It wouldn't be Nick Fenton. Nick Fenton, do you uh, know how to change a tire? I'm just curious if your car broke down. <laughs> no. Do you know how to sell things for not rape? Because that's important in prison. <laughs> Definitely. Uh, do you know how to barter cigarettes? It's not rape if I'm willing. Oh, my God. All right. Listen, this is an easy question because it always goes back to Brandon. I would want a level-headed, very worldly, extremely knowledgeable Keeps their head on a swivel. Brandon with me in, in a situation like this. Because Brandon, I know, is not going to get so deprived that he's going to try to fuck me. And <laughs> Brandon is going to is going to know what to do. He's going to keep me calm when I freak out. I got to go Brandon. I mean, I feel like everyone going, else here would freak, including me. I'm going, I'm going with John. Really? Okay. Because I know John knows his way around a fight. I know that for sure. Yeah? Okay. And, uh... But the question could is, also make, can can John make a shank out of like a plastic, like a plastic straw? See, Brandon, I have faith in John mm -hmm. to make a shank. I think John out. can do two things really well. I think he could really pacify the gay crowd with a couple <laughs> different abilities, <laughs> and I think he could fight. But I don't think John could possibly. I'm with Brandon. I'm talking. We're getting out of prison. We are escaping. Like we're gonna dig a tunnel wow. with a with a prison break. We'll dig a tunnel with a spoon or some shit, and Brandon yeah, will know how to do it. going to do some Alcatraz level stuff. Yeah. Wow. Dude. So I have a chance to escape with Brandon. I would. What about you, Nick? Literally, would... Nick Fenton would be the most useless. Nick <laughs> Fenton would probably the only good thing Nick and Fenton would be good for would be to like sleep on top of as a mattress or something. Because, because, <laughs> goddamn. Well, I mean, you, you could probably sell him in prison. Oh, that's you true. Could you could definitely sell him. They want some supple Nick Fenton meat. <laughs> totally. Yeah. <down. laughs> I wouldn't pick Bob. Bob would get really angry at the wrong person, and then he, Bob would be killed. Bob, with it. Bob would be done days. within like a, within a couple days. <laughs> he would he would upset someone out in the yard, and you'd get yeah. Get, you get see, killed. I would just I would just be fresh rape meat. Yeah, I'm a little guy. It would be yeah. Bad. It would be dude. You you'd Especially be after, oh after man. That haircut. Yeah, I would. Well, the haircut, yeah, that that now I'm a skinhead allegedly in jail. So, if, if you know, you got, if you got tatted up, you'd probably look pretty fierce. Yeah, Dan, with your with your hair like that, <laughs> you could be like a you could be a Midgets little fierce. I could see you all tatted. I mean, I would shank a bitch given the opportunity. They'd be like, "Don't but, fuck with that little guy. He may be little, but look at all those tats." Dude, you could get away. <laughs> There's not a lot of surface area for those tattoos, but those are a lot of damn cool tattoos. <laughs> <laughs> I would go with Alex. Just so what? the record. Whoa. Do you I just want to get raped? Because is just... Alex is an actor, and that means he's okay with experimenting with his sexuality. That doesn't oh, help. How does that help you? Well, then he is shielded by Alex <laughs> selling. Alex is yeah, that's what I meant. not rape. That's They're what I meant. Fend. They're going to rape everyone. <laughs> that's what I it meant. It doesn't matter if Alex is giving it up. They're going to force Nick to give it up. They like it when you resist. So Nick will be right. right. Well, Nick's not going to resist either. Yeah, Brandon is the easy answer to me. I That's just, what I meant. What? I guess I would probably, I'd, I'd probably have to take Scott, <laughs> just because I, I feel like Scott would be, like, I could probably calm him down and kind of, and yeah. kind of I, him you could into, get me to the point where I, I'm like a little, I would be your little minion. I think we could strategize together. Yeah, whereas, yeah. like, I don't, I don't know that anyone else, like, Bob would be too angry. I feel like John, <laughs> you know, John would, John would want to, he'd be fighting people. And so it's like the, the only gonna, way we could really strategize and hash out a plan, I think, would be me and Scott. Maybe me and Dan, though. I don't know. Another we, reason you want Alex? Is, I couldn't protect you from anything. Though. That's true. Another reason want Alex? You could sneak between. You could sneak between the bars, Dan. That's true. I yeah. want Alex That's because true. he'll act in the prison place, and we'll get time off our sentence. <laughs> That's. Just, that's 
a surprisingly valid point. Do so you get good? Wow, you I get good will points for acting in a prison I'm play. Sure you, you get you get good will points for everything in prison. I'm pretty yeah. sure. It's like if you're not stabbing people, cool. We'll take <laughs> off some days. <laughs> All right. So Raptor Shark asks after that interesting answer. <laughs> Raptor Shark asks, if you could be intimate with one component of your PC, which part would it be, and how intimate would you get? Wow. The power supply on top of my motherboard. <laughs> that was way too quick that you answered that. It's clearly been pre-thought out that you That's were... where the power supply goes. <laughs> I don't... I, I, I'm sp- the what, top... what is the thought process behind that? Yeah, well, I want to know what you're going to do with it. What are you doing with it? Courtney built my PC. <laughs> Courtney built my PC. <laughs> Does no one oh, remember that? Oh, yes. the Courtney troll. I gotcha. I gotcha. I gotcha. She's not even here. I'm still going to troll her. That was a really sideways way of getting to the Courtney troll. But yeah, I'm, I'm, glad, I'm glad you'll you'll make that inside joke for all the people listening. <laughs> that know, that remember <laughs> that. It. That's really good, dude. Way to I, uh, the new demographic. I go with my video card because it's the best piece of my PC. I but I would just kiss it or something. Yeah, I'm not going to get... You can't get your dick near this stuff. I mean, there's some sharp edges. I mean, <laughs> video cards are the least inviting sexual object you could ever have. They have it's fans fan on them. spinning on it. Yeah. yeah. There's just... That's not safe. <laughs> what, what, what? I'm trying to think of any part of the PC where it would be safe to put your dick. And right now, I'm thinking maybe... Oh, jeez. I'm going to mind. Um... <laughs> <laughs> maybe There's really the, nowhere. I, the disk I, I drive? Know. Maybe the disk drive, but that how, no, you're not gonna fit. It's no. The disk drive is too I'm, slim. I'm, I'm reaching here. Yeah, I don't, I don't think that's gonna work. Maybe, maybe just. I, I mean, maybe just the CPU. You know, you just, just rub it. Just on rub the it CPU. a little bit on top. That's, yeah. that's fair. Why not? That's kind of safe. <laughs> and then that way, Brandon I, actually does his does his uh, <laughs> his thermal paste with his dick. <laughs> 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 That Next now that would have been a live stream with, with the credit card. <laughs> credit card. Just taps it. Oh yeah. <laughs> no. Listen, I think uh, just always remember, kids. We're talking about you know sex. Haha, it's so funny. Always bag it. Always bag it. Never forget. Um, you want to stay I safe. Don't think it's you're really actually necessary when you're putting your penis against metal. Uh, I think, um, I think no, you'll be safe. Necessary. You ever heard of static shock STDs? They happen. <laughs> So you need to be careful. Oh Always wear God. a Jimmy hat. Yes, thank you. <laughs> Always wear a Jimmy So hat. next question. After I have this mental image of a man penis tapping a processor. With a, <laughs> um, with a condom, please. <laughs> no, just with a plastic uh, bag would be on your oh, fingers. Oh, plastic bag. Okay. Yeah. Um, uh, Mike Stilly. See, I still don't know what this guy's fucking name is. Anyway, Mike Stilly. Do you, Mike's still digging. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Still digging. How long do you think the world could survive on being powered fully on G fuel from Gamma Labs? Jesus Christ. Um, G fuel is actually know. a non renewable resource, and that's actually why we're having just like conflicts in the Middle East. So <laughs> I thought I would get you up to date on that. We killed Saddam Hussein. We sent an army in there to get more G fuel. Absolutely. That's it's one of the most untalked about. You know, I didn't think we were going to go into conspiracy theories on this podcast. Bush but. actually, when he said WMDs, he actually meant Gamma Gamers. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's actually a classic. If you look it up, it was it was in the it was on the original um, speech. It's in the Declaration of Independence, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they came for the freedom to be able to spread Gamma Gamers and Gamma Labs all across. We'll all have a good laugh about this when KB Mod is sponsored by Gamma Labs. <laughs> yeah, uh, that really remember all those days. Extreme. Remember those muscular. days when we weren't on G fuel. Happening, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah. We're really the target audience. A bunch of out of shape dudes, except Brandon. I mean, it's where like do you think? Uh, <laughs> I mean, where do you think half of the people in history got the courage to do the things they do? You think Harriet Tubman? And ran the Underground Railroad by herself <laughs> drinking water. She drank fucking Gamma Labs. She had Gamma Labs, and she had fucking o- Gunner Optics, That's dude, right. to see in the night. Do you think that she okay. saw at night by herself with her regular eyes? No. She was <laughs> no. geared out. Contrast, dude. Contrast. That's right, dude. I have it, dude. You think Abraham Luther, Lincoln Luther, had the courage to deal to, to fight in the Civil War? 
before did, did, Abraham, did Abraham Lincoln do a lot of fighting in the Civil War? No, no let him go. Let him go. Listen, you think Abraham Lincoln sat there one day and was like, I'm going to put millions of lives on the line when he was drinking water. No, he was drinking Gamma Labs and he got the courage to do the right thing and he started the Civil War. Uh, George Washington, you think he cut down that apple tree drinking water? He was drinking fucking Gamma Labs, dude. He was getting ganked as fuck and then he cut down the tree. <laughs> ganked? Pretty he sure, actually cut it down with sure his hand. Martin Luther Jack King Jr. Martin Luther King Jr. Jack. Martin Luther King Jr. Okay. in his speech, he actually said, yeah. I have a dream for long-lasting gaming sessions fueled by G Fuel. <laughs> That's right. That's Without yeah. discrimination. No, dis no discrimination. Well, absolutely. We, we don't want to discriminate against any flavors of Gamma Labs. All of them are equal. People that are swole, people are not swole. We don't, we don't discriminate. <laughs> absolutely not. Um, Next question. <laughs> J underscore B underscore 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 asks, what is the most you have spent on a free-to-play game? Jesus walked on G Fuel. <laughs> Jesus. The Dead Sea. He, yeah, he had some G Fuel. Most part of the Red Sea on G Fuel. Sam Lincoln was we... assassinated because he forgot his gunners at home. <laughs> Noah actually filled the arc with like, two kinds of every flavor of G Fuel. I feel like a new meme has been born. <laughs> I feel like this has happened. Historical uses of G Fuel. <laughs> yes. God. God. <laughs> oh, sorry. Uh, what what uh, is the most you have spent on a free to play game? Like two dollars. Zero. You haven't spent anything on a free to play? Nope. I have spent um, free to play. League of Legends, I spent like way too much money on skins. So that's like, yeah, man. You're getting real intense two days in. Uh, I bought, I did Zen 40, 40 bucks worth of Zen so far in Blacklight. Uh, so like 80, 80 to 100 bucks probably so far total for free to plays. Yeah, I think mine, mine is just tribes. I spent, I think, 50, 60, 60 or 80 bucks on tribes. I bought like two characters on Super Monday Night Combat, and that's it. Mm. And they were like a dollar. Oh, I did buy shit on Super Monday Night Combat, oddly enough. <laughs> that was so I spent shit. like four dollars or something. No. But next yeah, question. At SkyJW asks, who would be your ultimate drinking buddy and why? Anyone who's high on G Fuel. Yeah. Anyone. High on G Fuel? <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah, you get elevated. You get elevated as fuck, dude. Um, on next week's episode of Intervention. <laughs> I need Actually, you. someone just Football mentioned five, Bill Clinton. G Fuel a day. Can't stop. Someone just men mentioned Bill Clinton in the chat. Bill Clinton would be an excellent drinking buddy. Bill Clinton would be great. Um, ultimate drinking buddy. Who would be the ultimate? Not Brandon. He's way too concerned about me. Um, <laughs> he does care about you a lot. <laughs> he does. That, um, is that not, is man. that not the ultimate drinking buddy? Someone who's concerned for your welfare. <laughs> heard of all the I've heard a lot of over the the Winston Churchill has a lot of quotable moments. I've heard he was a fucking drinker well, and, half, dude, and he had some all liners. So mine would be the elephant from George in the Jungle. <laughs> what? what? <laughs> dude, that uh, <laughs> elephant was <laughs> dope. So I don't know, but that elephant is sweet. It's like a dog <laughs> in an elephant's body. I just want to drink with it and see what would happen. It probably wow. trampled me to death, but that's a goddamn good way to die. Being um, trampled by a drunk dog elephant. You have just destroyed this question. This is not even sensible anymore. Now you're <laughs> deciding what's the best way to die. From <laughs> I think I found it. <laughs> <laughs> Getting stomped by a drunk, a drunk elephant. dog elephant. All right. All right. Not, not just any oh. elephant. The one from George in the Jungle. Yeah. <laughs> All right, you are a mysterious lass. I don't even know. Lass, thanks. Yeah. So, Malblood asks, considering how mo how forgiving most Mobus communities are, I think that's a sarcastic statement. Yeah. What's the easiest one to get into? Smite. I'm gonna go with League newest. of Legends. League of Legends is probably the easiest one to get into. No way, Smite because I go with Smite because everybody knows Smite. I would say Smite because it's, smite. Smite it's new and the community is still growing. So you can probably yeah. get in when most people actually are retards. Heroes of New Earth is probably the most forgiving uh, yeah, for sure. out there. As soon as you get in the game, I'm gonna kill your mother, dude. I just fucking love them. how much Dan hates the Han community. Dan fucking hates them. Like Han, Han, it's like 
you get you take like thirty damage with like you're a feeder, dude. Stop. Stop feeding. <laughs> thirty damage. No, dude. You're not I even dead beta. yet. Like, I beta tested feeding. that game, dude, and people immediately were like, "Jesus." There's obviously people who haven't played the game before, but you would get in there and everyone would be level one because it was beta. And some dude who'd been playing Dota for ninety years yeah. would be like. I'm going to kill your entire family if you feed again. Like, that is the initial. Not like, hey, dude, here's a tip on yeah, how to just not don't die. Go down like, that lane or, yeah. Yeah, like, nope. Uh, I think uh, I would even argue, too. I See, the problem, I would say Super Monday Night Combat, even with the overpowered issues of certain. It's not really a MOBA. But it's not really a MOBA. It has the yeah, very I don't basic. Feel, it, I, I don't feel like it has the same community no. because, I don't know, it has a different feel. I didn't have a terrible experience with Dota, Dota 2. So. They were not awful. Mm. So this, Although that was in beta, so I haven't played since then. Or it's still this in beta. This last question Early is from beta. AJ Likes Gaming, who is a bro. Uh, and it's a pretty good question. We're going to close, close out with this question. What video game character would you replace someone in the KB Mod bro pile with? Which character, which existing member? <laughs> wow, I really want to detail. I'd replace Scott with the white ditto. Thanks. <laughs> wow, dude. Hmm. Um... Who would I replace? So uh, wait, we're replacing someone in yeah. KB Mod with a video game character? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Nick Fenton with Yoda, which <laughs> <laughs> which I guess Yoda is in Star Wars games, but it's not really a true video game character. Um, uh-huh. Shit, who would I replace? I could never replace any of you, to be honest. You're all so close to my heart, and I love you. I would, I would add... S- has Go Hutch ahead. ever been in a video game? Because I definitely replace him with, with <laughs> That's Scott. Funny, dude. That's funny. I would replace uh, Nick Fenton with the, the little annoying frog from Star Fox. <laughs> uh, wow. wow. Oh, um, just call it by its slippy. name. Jesus. Slippy. If you're gonna if you're gonna reference it, get slippy, it right. Yeah. Don't go in there, Star yeah. Fox. No, the best thing to think about in this question is what the person being replaced would do replacing. If you replace Nick Fenton game. with Slippy, we would fucking kill get Slippy. I mean that's no, no, but then Nick Fenton is in Star Star Fox. Oh, that's sweet. That's kind of sweet, actually. Then Nick Fenton replaces Slippy, and Star Fox probably like, "Fuck yeah, dude! It's, I've made like out this little of this. Skype box right here. It's this would be like my my little call thing that comes up, you know? <laughs> yeah, Star Fox, that's true. I'd pop up and be like, "Got my tail!" <laughs> yeah, replace <laughs> replace no one, but bring Solid Snake on. Just ooh, Solid place. Snake would be epic. I'd even be content with uh, Sam Fisher on the podcast. The serious Sam voice actor. Mm. Have you guys played serious Sam? I've watched the videos. I haven't played it. Horrendous. Yeah, it sounds so bad. Almost as bad as the fucking... Um, God, what is that game Eat My Addiction play- is playing through? Um, Modern Warfare 3? No, 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 no. God. Oh, Postal Post- Dude. The Postal voice actor. Postal Dude. I would terrible. replace Bob Post with Postal Dude. <laughs> there we go. I think re- we've made a fair trade. You can't trade. replace Postal with Postal. That doesn't yeah, you can. That, that's Heck yeah. No, serious answer, though, I'd replace uh, I'd replace Nick with Rux from Bastion. Ooh, Rux from Bastion. Solid, solid. Please go after me more. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. I'd replace cool. Brandon with another Alex. <laughs> <laughs> Just another Alex. With the video game. He's not even in a video game. Alex. He's not wow. even in a video game. I'm cheating. That's I'd a, replace Brandon with the, do- with the dog elephant from George Jungle. <laughs> Okay, you're done. So we're we done here. We're done with this question. All right, guys. That's the end of the Twitter questions. A uh, few messages before we go. Like I said, tomorrow night, Borderlands 2 stream special with Jared Garrison and Rick Hollywood Leslie. That's tomorrow night um, for live viewers. If you're listening yes, to the audio. 9 p.m. Can... Eastern, Tuesday the 18th. Audio <laughs> listeners can go view the VOD on Twitch. Uh the extra live stream last weekend was a huge success by uh, Utorak, Moving Target, the Andrew, and Munch Gamer. They raised about thirteen grand. That's awesome! Wow, for That's our great. extra live team. That's so awesome. we are at about fourteen and a half right now. We have a lot of work to do. Um, Captain Sparkles is around two thousand now for the team. Nice. Uh, we have a lot of work to do, though. We got thirty six thousand or so to go. Uh, we can do but it. We will do it. We can do we can it. Do it. We can do it. October 19th is our stream. Make sure to tune into that. Next week on the podcast, Hawken will be here. Uh, Jason Hughes, producer, and uh, I believe Paul Pablo Ponich 
on Twitter. <laughs> He's going to be there Popping too. Popping up ponage. Very nice. So, um, yeah. So uh, Hex next- is saying that he also raised. Oh wait, never mind. He's talking about Borderlands. Okay, sorry, dude. Yeah. Uh, so Hawking <laughs> next week, guys. I know they were supposed to be on tonight, but Hawking oh, Borderlands, next week. Borderlands. Hex is playing Borderlands. Oh, we already mentioned and, you, Hex, at the, in, during the podcast already. And uh, 14 minutes from now, there will be no post show tonight for several reasons. One, my voice is going out. And, and two, two, one that people don't care about Borderlands. And I'm night. sorry, but I need to play Borderlands 2 in literally 15 minutes. So, 14. So, Borderlands 2 is happening in like 14 minutes here. Make sure to check us out at KBModGaming, KBMod.com, YouTube.com slash KBModGaming, Facebook.com slash KBMod. And we will see you next time for episode 61 with Hawken. Hell yeah. Possibly some alpha codes. So, we will see you next week, bros. Yeah, well. Bye.